this is Brandon and Phil, artist and writer on Magic Hop, which is on Indiegogo right now, and we're just the two best looking brothers in all of comics, and today it is Magic Cop Monday, it's a very special Magic Cop Monday, even more special than that other special Magic Cop Monday, right. it was not as special, but this one is special because uh, we're done, this is uh, all of the... Uh, art interiors wise is done all the black and whites so we're just waiting for the colors so effectively I'm done drawing yeah. uh, all of the interior pages story wise are done all of the chapter covers are done and uh, it's gonna be done probably what next week sometime yeah. It's, yeah. It's just need to get the colors back and then I'll letter them up and we'll go through read the comic and edits and stuff if we have to uh, but you put up this past uh, weekend. You put up the last panel of the book. Yeah, it's a little like sneak peek, and uh, everybody really liked it. Yeah, so, everybody uh, thought it was a great last panel. Yeah, our colors, the new jeans, is really nostalgic. Uh, he was super into it, and uh, I think it is. It's, it wraps up the the story with a, a great '80s ending. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the last page is a little something different than the rest of the book, so it is a nice fitting final panel for that page and then uh, the entire book together. That page was also done a little bit differently because uh, there was no script for it at all, basically. We were just, we had conceptualized a couple of the panels and then it just said, last page, you know, and then just talked about what we had talked about a little bit. So it ended up being nine panels. Right, you did the panel layouts yeah, for that full one. full panel layout on that one, and uh, that was pretty cool. I was very, very happy with that one, and especially since, uh, you know, as the, the book goes on, you know, the art just keeps getting better and better looking, and then that being the final page, it looks super cool. Yeah, I love it. Um, lots of heavy inks in that last panel. <laughs> well, yeah, it's a lot of, it's a lot of we should show it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. That, that's awesome. And then this week we have uh, another awesome new perk on the campaign <clears throat> with sketch cards. We've been doing this, you know, throughout the, the right. past month. and has been helping out with sales. So EJ Morgis was able to do some sketch cards for us for Magic Cop, who he's an awesome artist. Uh, he's been, you know, drawing for since the 90s and uh, he's actually getting his like a, a really cool breakout uh, this year for doing a short story cyber frog story for Ethan Van Skyver, um, which is really cool that he's giving like well, I think like three stories away free for on his next like big wrecked planet ca uh, campaign so I know EJ is doing a story uh, Kyung Lee is doing a story and Vinny Tartamella is doing a story is uh, uh, is EJ awesome. a, an artist that would be like people would know? I like, don't think so. I know he did some uh, some issues for some small indie companies back in the '90s, but you know, he has a. I think he's got a pretty good following on Instagram. Posts a lot of stuff. He's the creator of Robo Toad, <laughs> which is like a spinoff character from Cyber Frog. So he's a big fan of EDS store brand version of Cyber Frog, <laughs> and made this Robo Toad guy. Uh, which is really cool. So that kind of got Ethan's attention and saw that he's got a really unique uh, art style, very stylized, it does you know awesome muscular guys really well. The cards turned out awesome. I yeah. love uh, like how much detail there are on them, especially with like uh, more body. You know, tend you tend to see a lot of just headshots with sketch cards. Right. And here he puts a lot of body. Uh, even in that, the last one with uh, Grey Wolf, there's a full body on that, uh, like a, a second, a full second right. person on that card. Yeah, yeah. It's so awesome. I contacted him, and he's like, "Oh, this would be awesome. Which characters would you do think I should do?" And I'm like, "Oh, we don't have. Uh, no one's really done Madam Sith yet." So he did this right. awesome Madam Sith uh, sketch card, and uh, then I was thinking later that he's like so good at doing muscles so I'm like oh he should do a horror so he did this awesome like super motion it's basically a panel from a comic a book panel, yeah. jumping backward shooting his, his rainbows out of his hat that one's so cool like I want to keep that one uh, and then uh, he did uh, one with two characters on it which is Heli and Grey Wolf yeah. he actually asked me he's like do you think I should do would it be cool if we do like a um, 
kind of like a panoramic one. He kind of right, wanted to do spread it. yeah, a spread of them yeah. with three different characters where when you line them up, it would be like one picture. And I'm like, ah, oh, these are probably sell individually. Right, so yeah. it would be better to do individual cards. But yeah, he's awesome. Uh, so yeah, big shout out to him. Thanks for... Yeah, they, they turned out super cool. I'm excited to see how fast they move. Because last week, the cards sold, I think, by Tuesday, they were all gone. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, to see how this goes, uh, I think it's going to do really, really well. Yeah, well. Look, look, follow him on Twitter and Instagram. I'll put the links uh, down below for his uh, social media stuff. And hopefully, you know, I talked to him, I showed him the Lost Pages stuff. He's like, oh, I want to do some sketch cards for that, too. Yeah, uh, which, is, cool. which is awesome. So it's awesome working with these great artists that are really enthusiastic and motivated about, you know, creating things for uh, for for Comicsgate and you know, yeah, smaller yeah. guys Helping like us. everybody else. And the Lost Pages, you know, speaking of the Lost Pages, that's our next title that's going to be coming up on Indiegogo. So we have a mailing list for that. That is a uh, it's more of a darker, grittier story kind of like mercenaries, you have vigilantes, superheroes, stuff like that. It's like a collection of um, short stories of heroes on Earth, and then, uh, you know, it all culminates together. Yeah, they all uh, later meet on. each other in the future. Yeah, uh, so that's going to be our next one, and that's getting huge. Like, the retweets and likes on those posts yeah, are just, really good. they're really, really phenomenal. So I think that's going to be a awesome awesome campaign everybody seems to just be loving it so far um you know we're we're really looking forward to getting that one out there yeah. we're gonna be launching that campaign in a couple of months as soon as we fulfill magic cup everybody gets their copies of that we'll be done and close that all out and then we'll start on the lost pages so if you guys want to get the leg up on that or a little bit of uh information uh beforehand you can uh, subscribe to the newsletter so you guys can go to zadecomics.com and click on the newsletter button right oh, there at the top link, of the page uh, at the description sure our, you can check out the pre-launch page and read yeah all there's about a pre-launch page also with uh, some cool art mm -hmm. and some descriptions of characters and then a showcase of the artist because this is also a little bit different because each story is utilizing their own artist for that uh, in the book yeah different you know different art styles and themes going on in those stories yeah. so uh, we wanted to that's going to be an awesome campaign yeah. there's going to be a lot of really cool stuff on there and a lot of stuff where uh, the the patrons or uh, let's say the backers can have a little bit of control so uh, you know get more and more of those stories out there the higher stretch goals we reach it's going to yeah. be awesome super excited really looking forward to that uh because we've been working with these characters for a really long time. Yeah. So to bring them to all you guys so you can enjoy them is, you know, it's a great dream come true. I love it. Yeah. They, these characters are from before even Magic Cop. This is yeah. old school Zade comic stuff. So, yeah. Uh, uh, you have a stream coming up later this week or do we have anything going on? Uh, yeah, I think we have a stream tonight with uh, on Mr. E channel oh yeah uh, he's doing some like horror show about werewolves so he wanted to talk about magic cop and show that off a little bit awesome. which is awesome so we can talk about the sketch cards there uh yeah so stay tuned tonight for that and then i'm gonna try to get uh michael derrick do an interview with him about grayscale this week we'll see if he's up for that which i'm sure he will too. oh yeah he's gonna be all about that because i did the logo yeah that's <laughs> true so uh yeah Make sure you guys stay tuned to the Zade Comics channel because we have uh, videos coming out every day, basically. And if you guys like the video, please like this video with the thumbs up the and then subscribe button. to the channel. And then, uh, you know, you could do the notifications things. Phil does um, streams with the other comic book creators, so if you guys want to be in on that, make sure you get those live notifications so you could be there while the stream is actually happening. That's right. You can ask your questions and everything. And uh, thank you guys for watching. And make sure you guys go to zadecomics.com. We'll see you. Hey guys, have you heard of Magic Cop? This is the comic book that we're making at Zade Comics. It is live right now on Indiegogo. It is that Miami Vice feel mixed with monsters and magic. 88 pages, fully colored graphic novel. Uh, and be sure to pick up that ash can that comes with it. It's going to have a bunch of concept art and a 12-page pilot issue. So check it out. We're fully funded. 
that means if you back it, you're definitely going to get this book. And we're heading on for the stretch goals. So help us out to get there. Thanks, everybody. Did you guys know that Brandon Diaz, the artist of Magic Cop, has his very own Patreon page? You guys can head on over there and pledge for either five or eight bucks a month, and you get these beautiful digitally painted pictures by Brandon. He does one a week 